this when uh, he had a hard time going up the stairs on the plane. Nobody talks about that. Nobody talks. The news didn't cover it. Not one network covered it. Now, when I made the best speech I've ever made, they said it was at West Point. And it was pouring. And I had a ramp that was a nice skating rink. And I called. I said to the general, I said, General, I may have to grab you, because the last thing I'm doing is going down. <laughs> so I walked gingerly down. That was on every newscast in the world. And I never went down, either. I never went on my ass, I'll tell you. I wasn't going to fall. That's Donald Trump comparing the media coverage of himself to the media coverage of Joe Biden falling up the stairs. Like, all right, joining me now, the man with the Media Action Network, the man with the court news, which I would highly recommend. Ken the court, Ken. Uh, all right, I missed the charisma. I opened up the show and said, "Look, I missed the charisma. I, I look, I missed the patriotism. I don't miss the disastrous personnel decisions. I, I, I hear all this tearing on Fauci. Fauci was his guy." I hear tearing on critical race theory. Donald Trump didn't utter a word against Black Lives Matter for a long time because he wanted to be Mr. Black people. All I'm saying is next time, whether it's Trump or someone else, we got to be better and smarter. Ah, that just uh, took you off of the Trump team forever. <laughs> uh, look, I mean, I mean, Trump was a it was a flawed delivery who was genius in some ways, one of the best in some ways politicians I've seen in my lifetimes, and in some ways a complete train wreck. And and it was that mishmash that uh, that made him both appealing and horrific, depending on on the American. He says a lot of stupid things. He accomplished things that no other president has done, and pushed things through the administration that I've I've never seen done. So it, Ken, it was a mixed bag. You, you know more. You've forgotten more about this stuff than I'll ever know. You're always a good source of wisdom for it. So help me understand this. I don't think Donald Trump is some idiot. I do think he is in some ways a genius. And the things he accomplished, like you mentioned, are incredible. He might be the greatest foreign policy president of all time. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, especially for a four-year stretch. The things he did were incredible. How can you be that good at that? You know, deregulating the economy, foreign policy, and yet you can't hire, uh, you, you turn around and hire Omarosa. How, what, merge those worlds. How's that possible? Look, I think that um, um, part of his genius was being a little bit crazy, right? Part of his genius was starting a, was, was coming down the escalator and saying, you know, those Mexicans, a lot of them are robbers and rapists and bad people. <laughs> uh, look, he, he, he has got, you know, he understands the levers of power but, and, and, and uh, better, better than most people and how to use leverage. Um, he's also a bigger narcissist than most politicians, which is saying a lot. He's got a little bit of, I hate, you know, I, I, I'd vote for him again, but he's got sociopathic tendencies. I mean, I mean, you know, he, he understands how to get things done, but also kind of sometimes those negative things work for him. Um, uh, look, I never thought I would see a presidential candidate insult the looks of the wives of his opponents and not be drummed out of the race. Do you remember when he did that? It was like, look at my wife. She's pretty and yours is a fat cow. And it was just like, oh, Jesus. Um, but, you know, like everything in life, you take the good with the bad, right? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me. Thanks.